Hello everyone and this is Serenities here and I would just like to wish everyone a happy new year. I hope you all had a great time last night. And here we are back with the second instalment of the best of three series against Terranoid and his flag team in the CTF playlist. So they were big big games for us as a flag team um, for myself because as Terranoid and his teammates are very skilled players, um, Terranoid actually has only dropped 252 games out of his 3827 play. So a really skilled player and his teammates are really uh, skilled players as well. And I really hope that you guys uh, enjoyed game one. I got a lot of really nice feedback on game one so I was really pleased. And I'm really happy that this uh, best of three series is going to be uh, well received. Um, game two is definitely uh, a, a much better, I don't know, a much better player on our team as a whole. Um, and we definitely came into game two with the fighting spirit from taking a quite a uh, harsh defeat in game one and quite a tough uh, tough game for us so game two is definitely um, you know a really great game and I'm going to commentate this spontaneously today and just talk about um, you know how the obviously I've uh, had commentaries on the pit quite a few of them in flags so not really the strategy but why things didn't work in this game and what what actually made us able to cap flags so it's a really great game this and uh, you know we really didn't give up um, playing against some really you know really good players and um, you know just showing that although we might not have the slaying power of other flag teams in the playlist we can still you know create huge waves or you know problems for the enemy team so um, I really did was I was really fond of this flag game actually watching this back and to be honest with you for game one I couldn't drum up the energy to talk about uh, a game that we lost I mean technically it's a good thing to do because you can talk about where improvements need to be made but to be honest with you <laughs> game one there were so many things I did wrong I could have done right and you know it's just hard to watch and but I mean game two there's this even though that we won this game there's still things that I looked at my gameplay and thought perhaps I could have done that a bit better so I'm going to commentate spontaneously today guys I really hope you enjoy this um, definitely the best game in the series so Hopefully you enjoy. So we get taken down there on their green box, and to be honest with you, the start of this game is we're very again like game one. We were basically uh, trapped in our base, and it was really hard to make pushes because I've been calling out to my teammates. There's a guy on S2. There's a guy on S2. But the thing is, it's very hard for us to get him off S2 because we weren't getting the right spawn. Um, for instance, I spawned in Mauler twice, and I couldn't actually get out. But as soon as I get a good spawning sword, I make a push up onto the map. And a good idea in CTF is, you know, if you see the enemy flag, if you see your flag being run by the enemy team, I would always, and if they're skilled players as well, oh, that was a lovely manoeuvre there with the thruster pack, um, I would always push up as far as you can um, to try and stop that flag fall, because the enemy team won't expect anyone to be up there. Um, so having mobility and you know unlimited sprint is a great idea to get up the map quickly to stop that flag run. Um, right there, I would have probably, uh, if I were to play that situation again, I wouldn't have picked up the flag because it made it difficult for me to actually slay off the enemy as they were coming to rush us. So perhaps a little tip there was perhaps don't pick up the flag since it, you know we weren't going to get a run on that flag at that time. So um, I could have done things a little bit better there. Nice positioning under Platt to get some shots on. A bit unlucky not to make the jump and I end up getting taken out there. But a really nice play to get a melee on Super Seville. So although I knew I was going to die, I always try to weaken uh, you know, the enemy team for my teammates to clear up. So that's a great play. Uh, you'll notice as well that I mentioned the guy on S2 who was still sniping there. He's actually still there and he hasn't been killed. But for... Funnily enough, because the gameplay is so fast-paced because we're playing great skilled players, um, he didn't get killed up very quickly and you know there was more action happening on the other side of the map. So um, definitely great play by the blue team because they definitely gave us the impression that they were here, there and everywhere. And it made us very hard uh, to pin down a sort of strategy to put team shit on. And I think that's why they caught us off guard a little bit in these uh, three games that we played. Um, so, you know, really interesting strat by Terranoid and his team there. Um, so here you're going to see me on the green box. I uh, get unlucky to get caught with a nade there. Um, I was a little bit, uh, I don't know, sort of cheated out of that death. I thought that I would survive, to be honest, because I still had a bit of shield and I wasn't that close to the grenade. But, okay, fair enough. Um, it was on my host, so I can't really complain. Um, 
So right there I see a guy under plat, so I just throw a few nades to try and suppress him. I'm getting shot from their S2, managed to clear up Gilders and just uh, attempt to hide at their flag. Um, you'll notice that um, probably in my gameplays you've seen that I throw very, very good grenades. But Terranoid and his team, with the, the grenades in this game, were very on point. And to be honest with you, most of the time I was killed by frags um, because they throw very good grenades. So when I'm making a push through green box, um, you notice I crouched there a bit because I didn't want them to have the opportunity to throw a frag at me. Um, and it was very hard to actually make consistent pushes in this game um, just purely because uh, every time that I attempted to push out in green, there was a guy in sword like there just was there. Or, you know, there was someone on RS2, and it was very, you know, very challenging game from that perspective. Uh, we did actually manage to get one flag here, which I think was a great job by our team, but, um, you know, definitely showing that, you know, Terranoid and his team are having the sort of slaying edge at the moment. Um, and then the in game one, I actually think I went negative six, so I had like 20 kills and 26 deaths. Uh, so that was a bit of a poor performance on my part, seeing as I'm like a bit of a slayer for my team. Um, but in this game, I had 32 kills and 25 deaths, so I went plus 7. Um, so that was a lot better. Um, and, you know, actually managing to go positive is a great thing for you as a slayer when you're playing, you know, really skilled people. And right here, I'm just trying to stay alive in Mauler. Um, again, this is probably the worst spawn that you can get if you're trapped in your base, because it's very hard to come out, um, especially if they're all on your plat. See rockets come up here. But as you can see, that. The enemy team are right on my case there as I get taken down. Pokemon retrieves the rockets and tries to stop that uh, flag run. So that was a great play by our team there, at least you know managing to keep long haul secure so we could actually get the rockets. Um, so that that was a great play. And see the guy in sword here again. So I try to stop him from making a push to our S2 because again, you know you could put on shots and that would really throw off our team's balance and you know it would make the game really difficult for us. So. But unfortunately I get taken down there, um, so I'm going to come off respawn. Get a nice spawn at S2, it's something a bit uh, better than spawning in Mauler. Um, very hard to kind of make plays from Mauler to be honest. Um, see a guy shooting me from long haul, so um, I don't push up immediately because I notice most of my teams are at the base as well. Um, so you know I, I try to move in conjunction with them. Uh, in game one I did uh, move out quite a lot by myself, and my teammates did sort of trying to point that out to me um, but I, was, I suppose I was getting a bit annoyed because I thought well it's my host and nothing's really happening so I felt like I had to do something but in this game I moved a lot better with them and you'll notice that because we were moving as a team in this game it was a lot harder for Terranoid and his crew to actually you know make consistent plays so definitely uh, playing a better strategy in this game and I was definitely a lot more passive uh, in this game because I just wanted to stay alive because I knew that you know their frags and everything were very on point, and I just didn't want to give them any more uh, easy kills, uh, as they would have been able to run you know several flags uh, whilst we we're on respawn. So I attempt to clear this guy up in sword. I thought he was to my left, that's why I kind of melee. Um, but Super Seville and Gilders take me out there, so good play by them. Um, I'm not sure what to say there really. Um, there's so many times in this game that I've watched back and I thought. Perhaps I could have done that. Perhaps I could have done this. It's. It, it, I mean, you're so. Sometimes I was so flexible for choice, but it's hard to know which play to make. But here I do a nice play to stop Terranoid from um, running that flag, and I just literally get, uh, you know, uh, behind the flag, uh, sort of on their side. Um, luckily for me, there was a rail gun sitting there, so um, because I love this weapon, I find it really easy to use, and I get a really. Uh, nice double kill there to stop that sort of flag run being made and then push up on their side uh, bit unlucky not to get super severe with that and I get taken down um, as the blue team sort of spawned in their court there so great play by the blue team um, and great play by myself to actually get them off the uh, get them off our flag so really nice play from both teams there um, right here I kind of assumed that Smudge Dread was going to die from the grenade so I kind of turned away but he managed to get out of that and I still get the double, um, which is a very nice play, but we've got Gilders on our green box, who I think has just been cleared up, so uh, overall not a bad play there, I'm um, just trying to keep him back uh, as best as I can, <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, um, 
this was a very tough game for us and we definitely I mean we definitely learned something from all of this I mean we play I, I would say in the CTF playlist of matchmaking we're one of the best teams but there's a lot of other good teams such as Terranoid and his and uh, you know some other people I could name like uh, Sour Onion or Saronian um, and his flag team are really good players like a tiny monster and those and Trignometrics and Frotto are, are really good players in the playlist but I would say we're definitely up there um, alongside them you know as like perhaps the fourth uh, maybe the third best flag team in the playlist so I'm really proud of that and you know playing Halo 4 at the moment um, I just find that there's not much to really get competitive about I mean I quite like the addition of the top 200 for Team Slayer um, which I have been playing as well but uh, you know CTF is definitely my thing because it's all about consistent wins and you know I do really like it I think the skill progression is a bit slow but it's the only thing that really feels like uh, competitive for me in the game at the moment to be honest um, so that's that's really cool and you know I really enjoy playing this playlist uh, you, you know definitely get better games uh, rather than sort of you know playing idiots all the time in just normal matchmaking so it's it's a great uh, you know it's great to be tested kind of thing um, spot the guy in sword here so I try to throw a few frags to suppress him um, here I think I actually raged when I got killed here because I thought well how come I wasn't getting those shots on but I think Tommy G was better on the push I uh, probably shouldn't have gone for the out VR because he was at the vantage point I had to come round the corner so it's kind of like a bad play on my part there. Um, here I spawn right on flag. Um, Super Seville was a bit quick for me there, so I couldn't get my nade to sort of finish him up. Um, my teammates managed to clear him up though, so that was a good play. And here I get a bit of a better spawn in sword. Um, you know, if you spawn sword at S2, you've definitely got a better, um, you know, sort of looking point on the map. So great to spawn there if you can. Um, you know, Mauler and Flag Plat are really difficult to make plays from. Um, just purely because you can get shot from a lot of angles. Um, I'm right here, you know, making a push to our green. Notice I get shot by some guy on our flag, but I'm just going to ignore it and try and stop this flag run. And you notice that all my teammates, or the majority of my team, actually move up in conjunction with me to try and stop that flag. I mean, we weren't successful, but we, we really did have a go there. Um, good positioning by Terranoid and his team to take us out there. Um, you know, great cover for the flag carrier, so definitely caught us off guard there and now it's one all so um, you know we're, we're doing really well to hold off Terranoid and his flag team because they are you know insanely good players and you know to hold out on one all for this amount of time is, is a really good play um, so here I try to make the push because they've just got the flag cap we need to be quite aggressive on their side now and I remember in this gameplay actually telling my teammates um, guys have got rockets we need to decide what we're going to do here and uh, funnily enough, in game one as well, when I had rockets a little bit, um, I did not make best use of them. In fact, there were several times where I fired rockets at like Terranoid, and because he had jetpack, uh, it, it didn't kill him. And I was like, that's that's really annoying. Um, so I definitely could have like that was definitely one of those rockets, for instance. Um, so those pocket rockets were kind of annoying because I could have had so many more kills. Um, you know, so many more opportunities, which was kind of frustrating. Um, so definitely, like, I suppose the lesson from that is when you're using power weapons, make sure that they count because uh, it's really annoying just kind of one shot in someone with rockets. Um, nice grenade there on the pocket because Smudge Dread had a shotgun, so it was a really nice uh, play of the BR there to actually stop him from getting that kill on me. A nice uh, team shot with my teammates to take Terranoid out there. I just hide on green box because we just got OS and I'm waiting for the OS player to make a substantial push on their side. Put shots on whoever I can, Terranoid challenges me here a bit. I knew that he would come back up because he's quite a cocky player and I was ready for him so because I was at height advantage a little bit there I got the out VR. And right here just putting on shots on green to their guys in sword who are making a push around and I'm just communicating that. And because we're running the flag long, uh, we make a successful uh, run with the flag carrier there. And I, I tell the guys, you know, watch uh, sword and training, and we do that perfectly there. And that results in a, a flag cap, you know. Um, there is, oh, hang on, wait a minute. Flag's down there. But that results in a successful, you know, um, deliverance of the flag to our base, and I just put it in. So um, there's a bit of, like, you know, 
uh, ter one of Terranoid's uh, teammates was behind our lines there, but even so, we managed to get that flag in, so that was a great run. And it's 2-1 to us now, we've not long left to go, so, um, you know, great game by all of us here, and, you know, I really enjoyed watching and commentating this. And I probably could have talked about a lot more in this gameplay, but there's just so much going on. Um, like the other Pitfall flag games I've had, they're very intense, very hard to talk about, so many things happening at once, but I hope you really enjoyed this everyone as much as I did. Uh, you know, props to Terranoid and everyone, they're great players, and I'll definitely be bringing out Game 3. Uh, maybe with a little bit of commentary, but there'll be other gameplay commentaries coming up in the holiday season, so hope you guys enjoy that, and uh, this was Serenities, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.